Aslan Akhwiyas, Muhammad Nazim with the fifth lecture. Of course, today I'm continuing on with the same subject, evolution of OD. Last lecture ke andar, mani OD evolution ke pehle do stems ke upar bohat tafsil nguftubu ki. I wonder what's your reaction and uh, what do you feel today? One thing for sure that when you go through the process, when you read all about the way things happen in the West or in those countries where this research took place and the way it transformed people and the society, it does give us an indicator that why can't things happen here? And why can't we take benefit of the knowledge and the research which is coming to us. And believe you me, when I share with you this knowledge, ye mera iman hai aur ye mera faith hai, ki somewhere in your mind, yehi question aapke dimaag mein aata hoga. What is that we lack? What is that we cannot do? If we have got the knowledge, if we have got the experience of the people who can guide us, like those people who did, who underwent that process of learning from other trainers, hum kyun hi ka sakte? Aur mein ye sochte huye mein ne, isi wajah se apne last lecture mein, OD ke pehle do stems pe, khasi detail ke andar, aap ko us ki historical development batai. The reason was, that I really want to motivate you. And I want to show you another angle. That, like those people who underwent that transformation by attending the learning groups, why can't you? Or if you had already started looking around, aap kahenge ki yes, somewhere a similar experience is being encountered by people who go through other spiritual meetings or spiritual transformation by our leaders. Keeping that thing in mind, is why I say, I have OD ke pehle do stems ko itne detail mein aap ke saath information exchange ki. Main jaldi se recap karna chahunga taake agar koi aspect aap ke dimaag mein dhundla sa rah gaya ho to aaj jabki mein itni detail mein uske upar nahi ja raha but I'll touch upon only three salient features of my last lecture maybe you could pick up the threads and as well guidance again ek cheez jo pehli fundamental maine kaha ke OD ki evolution mein hui wo thi formation of groups people coming up with problems and sharing or undergoing the training process just me trainers like Kurt Levin or his colleagues ne unke saath scientific base ke upar knowledge share kiya and those people who were participating in those learning groups as well were very candid they were community leaders they had come with a spirit of learning because they had a commitment towards their own community Hajagar ہم میں سے بھی کچھ لیڈرز اور آپ جیسے اوبرتے ہوئے لیڈرز اگر یہ انسپیریشن لے کر شیئر کریں اپنے پرابلمز اور اپنی ڈائریکشنز کو ایڈنٹیفائی کرنے کے لیے سائنٹیفک پیس کی اوپر نئی ڈائریکشنز ڈیٹرمن کریں تو شورلی یو ایس ویل وڈ انڈرگوہ ٹرانسفرمیشن لائک دوز پیپل وینٹ ایس ای ٹول یو کہ وہاں سپیریچل اور تھرپیوٹک ٹرانسفرمیشن ہوئی because that was based on solid fact. That was based on scientific reasoning. Of our reasoning, Kurt Levin ne provide ki. Kurt Levin ki, us scientific base, jis se wo group dynamics ko treat karta hai, aur saath hi ye kehta hai, ki agar participants ye realize karna shuru kar dein, ki hamara behavior کیسے ہمارے کلیگز کو افیکٹ کرتا ہے اور ڈیسیجن ٹیکنگ پہ کیسے 
उस वो असर अंदाज होता है तो मे बी द पर्सन हु इज बींग अफेक्टेड एंड द पर्सन हु इज एन अफेक्टिव माइट सिट टूगेदर एंड रिजॉल्व द डिफरेंसेस ये रियलाइजेशन तब हो सकती है अगर हम आज जो ट्रेनिंग सेशन करते हैं या हम सेमिनार्स में जाते हैं इफ वी कुड इंप्लीमेंट अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस सेंसिटिविटी ट्रेनिंग ग्रुप्स में से अगर हम वी कुड टेक फ्यू पेजेस आउट ऑफ दैट बुक एंड स्टार्ट इंप्लीमेंटिंग दो रूल्स प्रिंसिपल्स वी एज वेल विल बेनिफिट एंड कर्ट लेवन सैड दैट एनी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टेकिंग प्लेस इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन आर कम्युनिटी और विद इन विद इन ग्रुप्स और इंडिविजुअली नीड टू बी साइंटिफिक साइंटिफिकली बेस्ड और उसके लिए उसने एक्शन रिसर्च की थियोरी निकाली क्विकली दोबारा उसको रिपीट करते हुए आप भी जिंदगी के अंदर अगर आप इंडिपेंडेंट एक्शन भी लें तो कीप एक्शन थियोरी इन माइंड एक्शन रिसर्च थियोरी इन माइंड बिकॉज हैविंग बेस्ड योर एक्शन ऑन प्रोफाउंड नॉलेज रिसर्च एंड एक्सपीरियंस ऑब्जर्वेशन विद गिव यू गुड रिसर्च and when you apply this principle to the organizations or our jo organization ke leaders managers supervisors agar meri speech ko sun rahe ho i would say that if they look into this aspect of action research perhaps they will go more closer to the people working with them and bring in change by constantly taking note of their actions based on solid research many action research ka kaha tha ki levin ne kaha ki unless and until you do substantive research don't take action and once you have taken action go back to the research to find out what is the outcome of the action and this cycle must go on and that is the reason only those organizations which survive today practice this action research science because changes are happening so rapidly which i said to you in my first lecture that hyper turbulent environment mein organizations wohi survive kar sakti hain jo ki action research se apni constantly actions ko renew review karti rahe third aspect which i want to mention to you was robert lickets survey feedback process a very important component of uh, od process and likewise bringing in a change in your organization as i said to you in my last lecture we conduct lots of surveys magar un surveys ka fayda kya us data ka kya fayda if we do not share that data with the people who are the change agents a change agent is not the person at the top aaj when i talk to you about participative management i'll tell you how many models of management are but the only management process would be successful which takes into play the the other members of the team therefore survey feedback process does bring in a tremendous change only if we incorporate the changes while we have shared that information that data with our colleagues to ye teeno aspects training and mind it it's, i'm i'm talking about sensitivity training it's not the training we conduct today that has to be changed then action research and survey feedback in ki jo amalgamation hogi that will lead to the third stem which is the participative management ye participative management ka jo third stem hai isko hum kehte hain likets participative management or sometimes we also call it the system four management ke char styles hain i think you must be familiar with aapne dusre courses mein management styles padhe honge main quickly zara usko review karta jata hu taaki 
participative management kaise dusre management system se fark the first is the exploitative authoritative system you are familiar with exploitative authoritative as the words indicate i'll, I'll come back to it second is benevolent authoritative systems this is the system 2 the third is the consultative systems and this is the system third and the fourth is participative group systems jo ke likhit ka hai which i will be talking to you in detail today coming to the exploitative authoritative systems as i said you are all familiar with and many of our organizational heads our managers today must be practicing but this is an old obsolete way of ruling governing managing your people this is an autocratic top down approach to leadership it doesn't work anymore and if you think it is working you are living in a different world ab zamana authoritative rule ka nahi hai आप लोगों को बाय फोर्स कुछ नहीं करने के लिए कह सकते एम्प्लॉज मोटिवेशन इज हैम्पर्ड इफ यू यूज दिस प्रैक्टिस एंड नॉर्मली इन दस सिस्टम इन दस इन सच मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस एम्प्लॉज आर पनिश्ड फॉर वायलेटिंग सर्टन नॉर्म्स एंड दैट इज वाई एम्प्लॉज के अंदर एक्शन लेने का डिसीजन ले, लेने का वो जो स्पिरिट है मोटिवेशन है वो खत्म हो जाती है सेकेंड सिस्टम सिस्टम टू इज द बेनेवलेंट अथॉरिटेटिव सिस्टम वेल इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग बेनेवलेंट एंड अथॉरिटेटिव यू कैन वेल इमेजिन अथॉरिटेटिव भी है लेकिन थोड़ा सा बेनेवलेंट मे बी दे हैव सॉफ एंड डाउन द वर्ड ऑटोक्रेटिक एंड दिस इट इज slightly more taking into consideration the feelings of the people it's more or similar to the system 1 except that the management is more paternalistic jaise parents at time bachcho ke sath behave karte hain that is agar wo galti karte hain to unko daan dapat bhi pad jati lekin but they don't mean bad they don't mean ill for the children similarly employees are allowed a little more interaction communication and decision making but within boundaries defined by management ye be system workable nahi because yahan boundaries are laid down by the top brass by the top management by the executives and as i said initially in my initial lecture and even today i mentioned about ki ideal effective or healthy organization mein decision taking kabhi kabhi nichle level pe bhi karni padti hai wahan decision karni padti hai jahan source of information aa rahi hai lihaza the management process bhi wahan kaam nahi deta next is the consultative systems this does increase the employee interaction communication and decision making kyunki consultation process does take place although employees are consulted about problems and decisions management still makes the final decision it is partly authoritative and partly having an input from the members productivity is good and employees are moderately satisfied with the organization but nothing very exceptional happens because wo jo 21st century organization hai jiske andar ke ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की हराकी फ्लैटन हो रही है जहां डिसीजन टेकिंग भी कंप्लीटली शेयर की जा रही है जहां ऑर्गेनाइजेशन छोटी होती जा रही है वहां ये कंसल्टेटिव प्रोसेस कभी कभी काम आ जाता है लेकिन नॉट एट टाइम्स बिकॉज पीपल आर आर नॉट कंप्लीटली इंडिपेंडेंट एंड दे कान टेक डिसीजन ऑन दर ओन दैट ब्रिंग्स एस बैक टू दार्टिसिपेटिव ग्रुप सिस्टम this is almost the opposite of system 1 and uh, designed around group methods of decision making and supervision iske andar ab agar aap dekhe to 
लिकट का वही सिस्टम ऑफ सर्वेज फीडबैक गेटिंग द डेटा डिस्कसिंग इट विथ पीपल फाइंडिंग आउट वेयर द फ्लॉज आर वॉट आर द इशूज वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम कमिंग टूगेदर ऑफ द टीम मेंबर्स एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग सोल्यूशन फॉर द प्रॉब्लम दे आर एनकाउंटरिंग दिस सिस्टम फोस्टर्स हाई डिग्रीज ऑफ मेंबर इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड पार्टिसिपेशन ये वो प्रोसेस है जिसके अंदर कि ऑल दैट वी डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट लास्ट लेक्चर इज ऑन गवर्नमेंट इस मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस के अंदर हम एक्शन रिसर्च को भी ले आते हैं हम सर्वे फीडबैक को भी ले आते हैं हम सेंसिटिविटी ट्रेनिंग को भी लाते हैं बिकॉज इट्स अ पार्टिसिपेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ मैनेजमेंट वो ग्रुप्स आर हाईली इन्वॉल्व इन सेटिंग गोल्स दे मेक their own decisions and they help in improving methods and even appraising systems system 4 management jo ke participative management hai this achieves high levels of productivity quality and member satisfaction mind it this participative management came later stage when already pehle do stems ne काफी कंट्रीब्यूट कर दिया था दिस वॉज अ लेटर डेवलपमेंट इन फिफ्टीज बिकॉज फाउंडेशन हैड बिन लेट पीपल व सफिशियंटली ट्रेन साइंटिफिक प्रोसेस वर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड डाटा कलेक्शन डाटा डायग्नोसिस डाटा फीडबैक पीपल वर इन प्लेस एंड दैट्स वाई द मैनेजर्स फाउंड इट ईजी एंड दे वर कंफर्टेबल in introducing this participative management then comes the fourth stem and that is the productivity and quality of work life organizations ne business organizations ne especially i'm talking about the west jab is stage pe aa gayi jahan unki unke members learn to sit with the managers take decisions finally a reason for increasing productivity came in and obviously with that an issue of quality of work life because the workers were were concerned about the environment in which they were forced to work with all the scientific development with all the theories put in place there was a need of the workers to ensure that they were paid for the work they were putting in and likewise there was an incentive so therefore this took place in two phases quality of work life ka pehla phase started in 50s and it aimed at integrating technology and people isliye कि टेक्नोलॉजी की डेवलपमेंट हो रही थी नई टेक्नोलॉजीज आ रही थी एंड पीपल में वो सेल्फ इंसाइट आ रही थी अवेयरनेस आ रही थी तो इनका मैच वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ वर्क करने का इंटरप्ले कैसा होगा सो वर्कर्स स्टार्टेड डिमांडिंग फॉर देयर राइट्स ये वो नाइनटीन का जमाना है जब लेबर यूनियन नेगोसिएशन एंड ज्वाइंट लेबर मैनेजमेंट डायलॉग्स इट्स दैट फेज यहां क्वालिटी ऑफ वर्क लाइफ की दो डेफिनेशन इमर्ज हो रही पहले क्वालिटी ऑफ वर्क लाइफ वॉज फर्स्ट डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पीपल्स रिएक्शन टू वर्क पर्टिकुलरली इंडिविजुअल आउटकम्स रिलेटेड टू जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड मेंटल हेल्थ ये वो पहला फेज है जिसके अंदर के सडनली देर वॉज एन अवेयरनेस अमंग्स दी एम्प्लॉज टू इंश्योर दैट दे आर हैप्पी वर्किंग इन एन एनवायरमेंट एंड देयर मेंटल हेल्थ देयर जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन इज एश्योर्ड यहां अभी अवेयरनेस है अभी ज्वाइंट शेयरिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग नहीं आई इस पहले फेज में लेकिन सेकेंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑफ वर्क लाइफ विल डिफाइन इट एज एन 
approach or method. Pehla was reaction to work. Here was an approach or the method of people working in an organization. People defined quality of work life in terms of job enrichment, self-management teams, and labor management committees. Pehle phase ke andar, unhone further improvement ki and wanted people to play, wanted employees to play more important role and team formation, decision making, job enrichment, or quality of life along with their uh, assurance of progress in profession and assured ki gai. Ye to tha 50s mein jahaan ke productivity ke saath quality of life, uh, work life ke upar zyada focus kiya gaya. Starting in 1979, a second phase of quality of work life activity emerged. A major contributing to the resurgence to the quality of work life was growing international competition. Chuke, it was late 70s, or international expansion of business ho chuka tha. Therefore, again, uh, types of management change hui ho gayi thi. Is liye concept of work life bhi change hua. So, quality of work life programs expanded beyond their initial focus on work design to include other features such as reward systems, workflows, management styles and physical work environment. Ab aap ye dekhiye ke is taraf bhi progression shuru ho rahi. That is, ab unho ne focus kiya on reward systems. They, they focused on management styles. They focused on uh, work environment. That is, they started realizing that environmental aspects by this time ke a gaye the. And they started talking about cleaner technologies, uh, 79. Because environmental movement by this time had taken uh, a very uh, high point in, in, the, in the West. And people, the labor got conscious of it and they started demanding. And that's why Sana systems changed one. Aaj, the second phase of quality of work life continue hai. And yaha thori or transformation hoi. We have gone still farther and terms like, terminologies like employee involvement and employee empowerment have been introduced. When we talk about employee involvement as the phrase is pretty clear, here employees are involved. But empowerment is a step further. Employee in involvement wo stage hai jaha quality circles introduce ho gaye. Jaha quality gurus like Deming, Guran, uh, Tom Peter ye aage aur inhone focus kiya on products, on improving the quality, quality enhancement so that when the productivity increases, likewise the quality of the work life, work life as well improves. So this was a phase when a new transformation took place or this was the age, this was the time when quality was at its peak. And especially you must have noted that Japan ke andar, uh, Deming ne bahut influence kiya business community communities mein, jaha ke quality circles and quality circles mein involvement of people, of course the employees, that is they work. Aaj hum quality circles se mazeed aage aage hain, that is hum employees empowerment ki baat kare. A step further, this is the latest entry uh, to the whole uh, uh, complexion, the whole picture of uh, business economy, okay, you are empowering your employees. That is, they can take decisions. Just a minute, I have told you that decision taking is where to So, if an employee is empowered, he or she can take decisions on her own, realizing or thinking that it is going to add to the uh, quality or add to the impression, goodwill of the company. 
So empowerment goes a bit further to employees involvement. Last stem of uh, OD is the strategic change. This is latest development of the whole OD process. The OD ki uh, evolution may stem bahut important which was felt because of the changing environment. Jaisa jaisa complexities humare saamne aayi business world ki jaisa maine shuru mein kaha tha business world expanded so there was a need of certain strategic changes to be incorporated into the business world and strategic change involves improving the alignment among an organization's environment strategy and organization design when i say alignment i mean ki aap agar piche dekhe to phase wise jaise jaise od ke andar development hoti ja rahi hai employees are awakened research ho rahi hai data feedback ho raha hai training sensitivity training ho rahi hai ab business world expand ho rahi to problems ye aayi ke political changes are taking place technological changes are taking place then social changes are taking place ek organization mein jaise ideal organization mein maine kaha tha ke works in harmony it is not possible in a big organization where different departments having different cultures different political influences marketing ke upar kuch aur influence ho raha hai sales ke upar kuch aur hai aapne niche uh, multi dimensional teams banayi hui hai it will not be able to work jab tak aap uske andar strategic changes nahi layenge so that various components the subsystems of a of an organization fit into it unke alignment theek na that's why strategic change was an important introduction an important stem into the od process lehaza for making strategic change interventions it included efforts to improve both the organization's relationship to its environment and the fit between its technical political and cultural systems when i'm using the word fit that is the organization relation between the environment and the fit between its different technical social and uh, uh political systems that this is what i mean by the uh, strategic uh, alignment now the need for a strategic change is usually triggered by some major disruption to the organization such as the lifting of regulatory requirements a technological breakthrough or a new chief executive officer coming in from outside the organization now since the organizations are expanding political boundaries have become porous maine shuru mein kaha tha ek organization west ki hai east mein kaam kar rahi hai so there is a possibility that the ceo might be somebody from that area but multinationals when operate in different areas different regions then bringing in new people might in disturb the the, the cultural uh, the corporate culture so that is where uh, the strategic change has to be introduced or political compulsions technical changes baad baas dafa organization mein karte you might you've got no other choice but to replace people by automation computerization aap robots in introduce karne pade hain to aapko apni organization ki strategic alliance karni padegi alignment karni padegi that is why if you bring in new people you might have to change the pattern agar kisi organization ke andar aapne change lana hoga some, sometimes you will have to bring people from outside yahan levin ki change theory pe main aapko detail mein baat karunga he did a lot of work here because i initially told you that he was one person who worked in in the change process and strategic change ke andar 
various change agents came forward by certain planned change theories. I'll be uh, devoting a couple of lectures on planned change theories, but that is what I mean here today when I'm talking about one of the important stems uh, of the OD, where new legislation, technology, or a new chief can demand a strategic change in an in a business organization. Having said all this, I will now move to the final stage. जहाँ आपको मैंने basic theories OD की जो evolution में involving मैंने आपको आप share कर दिया आपको पढ़ा दी. I will now come to something very important so that it it could give you a clear picture के OD में कौन कौन सी stages involved होते हैं. What are the five stages that are involved to implement OD? Because once I give you this picture, then I'll take it one by one or inshallah coming lectures may we'll talk about the plan change, we'll talk about the OD practitioner, we'll talk about the interventions. So, ab aap ke paas scientific base clarity of OD are You know where we are going. There should not be any confusion. Aye, let's look at what are the various stages involved in OD. OD ko humne kaise implement karna hai? Isme kaun kaun si stages involved hai? Mene kaana paanch stages hai. First stage is anticipate need for change. Ye saari paanch changes jo hai, one after the other, move in a definite sequence. Not that you can't jump from first stage to the third or from third to fifth. No. It has to go in the way jaise mein aapko iski pe dikha raha First stage is anticipating the need for change. Second stage is developing the practitioner-client relationship. Third stage, the diagnostic stage. OD and the client. OD means OD practitioner. Wants to know diagnosis kya kaise karni hai? Kisne karni hai? Or phir diagnosis ke baad kaha jana hai? So that is the third very important stage. Fourth stage, action plans, strategies and techniques. Of course, uske baad humne lay down karna hai, karna kya hai, diagnosis ke baad jana kaha hai, where are we? Uh, leading the organization to. And the final stage is the self-renewal, monitor and stabilize. That is, finally, aapne monitor karna jo change, this action research mein aapko bataya, aur uske baad aapne us change ko stabilize karna hai. Ye nahi, ke aapne kuch changes introduce kar di, aur uske baad when you come back aur the OD consultant receives wo chala jata hai to revert bounce back kar de. no that is not the purpose of the OD let's take all the five stages one by one the first one is the anticipating need for change and the most important thing for anticipating need for change is that someone recognizes need for change change khud bakhud organization mein nahi aayegi unless and until anyone at the top or someone initiates down below halaki maine richard beckard ki definition mein ye baat kahi thi if you remember that it is managed from the top agar aapko yaad nahi revert back to my definition it is managed from the top but here i'm saying to you someone recognizes need for change it could be anybody. It could be the relation, industrial relation officer, or department who sakta hai, might feel, marketing department in charge is, could raise a point that the organization needs a change. Of course, I'll come back. It will be managed from the top, but here it is important that anyone can raise this issue or feel the need and then say, we need change. That is, when somebody initiates, then there is 
there must be feeling of this need overall it can not be a single person main jab detail mein aapko od process ke andar jaunga when i'll talk about the od practitioner how does od practitioner intervene karta hai there are as well specific plan moves the od practitioner does but agar ek officer whether from the top it could be ceo or it could be the uh, anyone on the board agar initiate karta hai then the whole organization needs to be made to realize needs to uh, uh, feel that change is needed now coming to the second stage and that is developing practitioner client relationship it is here how to go about developing a relationship it is important to know who is going to do what relationship kya hoga remember maine aapko shuru ke andar consultants ke tarike bataye doctor patient relationship right not that relationship maine wahan kaha tha it's sharing it's somebody who's facilitating to agar facilitating ka role hai to relationship kya hai rules have to be laid down that is who is going to do what od practitioner ki relationship kya hoga iske bare mein at this stage need to be very clearly identified and then good first impressions and match important first impression or match bahut important hai maybe the management is very happy with the od practitioner but matching nahi hai click nahi karte log somehow the people jiske sath od practitioner ne kaam karna hai they don't see eye to eye so the matching is very important and the impression of the od practitioner be important isi stage 2 ke andar practitioner establishes trust that is open communication and shared responsibility now is a stage ke upar od practitioner makes a move to to make the other people realize that he is not an outsider he is not an intruder wo aakar कोई चीज थ्रस्ट नहीं करेगा बट विल बी प्लेइंग अ फैसिलिटेटिंग रोल दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में जहां के हमने प्रैक्टिशनर और कंसल्टेंट का रिलेशनशिप एस्टेब्लिश करना है वहां ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर पे बहुत जरूरी है एंड ही और शी नीड्स टू नो द आर्ट ऑफ हैविंग दैट ट्रस्ट डेवलप और ओपन कम्युनिकेशन अगर वहां कम्युनिकेशन नहीं होगी ही विल नॉट बी और शी विल नॉट बी एबल टू डायग्नोज होकर आगे इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट आ रहा है तो ये शेयर्ड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का कॉन्सेप्ट इस स्टेज पे डेवलप करना जरूर द प्रैक्टिशनर डिसाइड्स व्हेन टू एंटर एंड व्हाट हिज और हर रोल शुड बी ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर ने किस वक्त इंटरवीन करना है क्योंकि इस इनिशियल सेकंड स्टेज तक तो ओडी कंसल्टेंट भी श्योर नहीं है कि मैंने इनको सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करनी है कि नहीं इट इज नॉट स्ट्रेट अवे दैट द टॉप मैन साइंस नाउ नीड्स टू एस्टेब्लिश रिलेशनशिप एंड देन डिसाइड्स बिकॉज जब मैं डिटेल में आपको बताऊंगा कि डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसेस क्या है यू विल सी दैट देर इज इनिशियल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट व्हेन द ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर अरेंजेस ऑर्गेनाइजेस अ मीटिंग आउटसाइड द प्रमिस ऑफ साइड मीटिंग करता है और वहां से डायग्नोसिस के बाद डिसाइड करता है कि चेंज इज पॉसिबल और नॉट ये ओडी वैल्यूज के अंदर शामिल है ओडी एथिक्स में शामिल है कि इट शुड बी क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाइड वंस द ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर हैज डिसाइडेड देन मूव्स ऑन टू दी थर्ड स्टेज एंड दैट इज द डायग्नोस्टिक फेज और द डायग्नोस्टिक स्टेज प्रैक्टिशनर एंड क्लाइंट gather data about system you can say ke what is the need of gathering data data could be provided by the company 
ठीक है रोज डाटा क्रिएट हो रहा है एंड द क्लाइंट द पीपल द टॉप हु इनवाइटेड द प्रैक्टिशनर कैन गिव हियर इज द प्रोडक्शन डाटा हियर इज द मैनेजमेंट डाटा ये हमारे सारे फाइल्स हैं गो कंसल्ट इट नॉर्मल कंसल्टेंस में हो रहा है बट नो प्रैक्टिशनर और क्लाइंट जहां खुद नए सिरे से डाटा कलेक्ट करते हैं एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू अंडरस्टैंड क्लाइंट्स प्रॉब्लम्स आइडेंटिफाई फोर्सेस कॉजिंग सिचुएशन एंड सेलेक्ट चेंज स्ट्रेटजीज दिस स्टेज दैट द ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर सिट्स विद द क्लाइंट मेंबर्स एंड लुक्स एट द सिचुएशन और व्हेन आई से कलेक्ट्स द डाटा डाटा कुड बी and data is as a matter of fact coming out from the personal interviews it is from of course the uh, everyday jo hard data aa raha hai mind it there are two types of data which i'm going to uh, talk about further yahan soft data ki main baat kar raha hu interviews se naya data collection aur kaun si changes lani hai uske bare mein mein clarity bahut zaroori then further at this stage organizations जैसे मैंने कहा था कि हार्ड डाटा बहुत जनरेट कर रही होती है यूजुअली जनरेट लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ हार्ड विच इज ऑपरेशनल डाटा बट दिस डाटा मे प्रेजेंट एन इनकम्प्लीट पिक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल परफॉर्मेंस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर टू एंश्योर एट दिस स्टेज कि जिस डाटे के ऊपर उसने काम करना है डाटा जेनुन जेनुन इन देंस के एंड इट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट it is also in the interest of the client that after all it's going to be very long partnership long relationship that the data jiske upar sari change process hona hai is authentic data aur agar basic information galat hogi foundation hi galat hogi the direction pe galat chale jayenge therefore od practitioner koshish karta hai rather often does that generates न्यू डाटा वो अपना जन डाटा भी जनरेट करता है दैन फर्दर द प्रटिशनर एंड क्लाइंट मे एग्री टू इंक्रीज द रेंज और डेप्थ ऑफ द अवेलेबल डाटा बाय इंटरव्यू और क्वेश्चन एज अ बेसिस फॉर फर्दर एक्शन प्रोग्राम एज ए सेट यू आर लेर हार्ड डाटा बहुत है बट दैट कुड बी अ डाटा विच द ओ डी प्रैक्टिशनर डजेंट रिक्वायर वहां ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर वॉन्ट्स टू इंटरेक्ट विद पीपल विद दी विद मेंबर्स हु आर गोइंग टू बी इन्वॉल्व विद हिम नया डाटा जनरेट करने के लिए ताकि उसके साथ शेयरिंग हो और गुड ले आउट द स्ट्रेटजी फॉर द चेंज प्रोसेस देन कम्स दी सेक्शन फोर और द स्टेज फोर एक्शन प्लान स्ट्रेटजीज एंड टेक्निक्स series of interventions activities or programs aimed at increasing effectiveness are introduced at this stage data lene ke baad intervention shuru hogi main aapko aage ja ke bataunga as a matter of fact philosophically speaking ideally speaking intervention wahan shuru ho jati hai jab ek od consultant aakar consultation shuru karta hai लेकिन प्रोसेस के अंदर इंटरवेंशन लोगों के अंदर इंटरवेंशन सिस्टम के अंदर इंटरवेंशन टेकिंग एक्शन फॉर चेंज स्टार्ट नाउ एट दिस स्टेज फोर्थ दैट इज वेन सीरीज ऑफ इंटरवेंशन एक्टिविटीज और प्रोग्राम्स आर प्लान आउट नाउ प्रोग्राम्स अप्लाई ओडी टेक्निक्स लाइक टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट जॉब डिजाइन रोल एनालिसिस goal setting team building and intergroup development aur bahut si dusri cheeze jo ke od ke andar batai jati hain ki aapne intervention karne ke liye is tarah se team building karni hai total quality management karni hai strategies change karni hai structural changes karni hai process changes karni hai ye aapne fourth stage mein kar liya then comes the fifth and that is the self renewal monitor and stabilize as od program stabilizes need 
for practitioner decreases. It's obvious. But keep in mind, I said in the beginning that the OD practitioner will always be necessary. And today, I mentioned in the beginning that you will also be in the action research. Action research, this process is cyclical. So, the OD practitioner will always be necessary. But at certain stage, you have to loosen the relationship and it is at this fifth stage jahan aapne monitor karna hai or you have to decide ke practitioner ka role kam karna hai kabhi kabhar organizations apna alada od department banate hain aur wahan apne bande ko od practicing mein train kar dete hain and that's why od practitioner ki advisory capacity or frequent visits but not that much involvement in this stage, in stage 5, we monitor results and stabilize the desired changes. We see that what we have taken action based on the research is really bearing fruit or not. If not, further diagnosis, further data collection, then planning, then the process is going to happen. So, then comes the gradual disengagement of OD practitioner. Having done this gradually we let the OD practitioner reduce his or her role intervention or advisory because by this time by this time fifth stage tak may have taken two years or three years people from the organization client organization say really have undergone a lot of training a lot of sharing lot of experience. So, in the fifth stage, finally, the management, the organization, the client decides ki kaha jakar practitioner ki kaab roll kam ho jana. Now, most important lesson for managers that there are two kinds of companies. Manya aaj swa aapko ideal organization ki baat ki I am saying that there are two kinds of companies, those that are changing and those that are going out of business. Now, there is no third company. There you realize, I said in the beginning, the only constant is change. In the organizations, there will be two kinds of organizations. One is the change and the other is the change from the scene. غائب ہو جائیں گے continual change is a way of life ہمیشہ میں سپیکر کو فوکس کرتا ہوں always I repeat اور جیسے میں نے آپ کو کہا تھا کہ time and time again I'll keep on giving you some tips to bring in a qualitative change so today I would like to end this lecture on this note کہ Continual change is a way of life. जैसे अभी organisation में मैंने कहा दो किस्म की organisation है या वो survive करेंगी change के साथ या disappear हो जाएंगी। मैं और आप भी अगर change को embrace कर लेंगे तो हम survive करेंगे। Otherwise, we as well with the time will fade away, will disappear because only that person will be remembered. By the generations to come, जो work के साथ साथ change होगा और society में, अपनी family में, अपनी community में कोई positive contribution करेगा और positive contribution सिर्फ change के साथ होगी क्योंकि things are changing, people are changing, environment is changing. I end my lecture on this very note. इसको याद रखिएगा next next time when I come. I'll pick it up from here. Change say. And maybe you, whenever if you happen to communicate to me, tell me how have you started to change yourself. Thank you very much. Khuda Hafiz.